Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, have made it clear that they value their privacy and want control over their public image. However, their own recent actions by giving interviews, making documentaries, and writing revealing memoirs have brought them more attention instead. Even the dark-humored satirical show South Park had some pretty strong things to say regarding the whole matter. We'll get to that, but let's explain the situation first. The royal couple's desire for privacy is understandable given the intense media scrutiny they've faced since their engagement and marriage. It became worse in 2020, when the couple stepped back as senior members of the royal family to become financially independent. They cited the media's intrusion into their private lives as one of the main reasons for their decision, among others. But that backfired, and it brought even more attention to the lives of this royal couple. The constant attention and scrutiny can be overwhelming, and Harry and Meghan have spoken openly about the toll it has taken on their mental health. However, despite their wishes, they continue to make public appearances and shows, and share updates on their lives on social media, which puts a huge question mark on their desire for privacy. They have appeared on television shows like The Late Show with James Corden, and Oprah Winfrey's interview with Meghan and Harry, which were voluntary decisions from the couple's side, and not under the jurisdiction of Buckingham Palace. On top of that, Harry and Meghan has been active on their Instagram and Twitter accounts, constantly sharing personal photos and updates on their lives. Some critics have accused the couple of being hypocritical, saying that they cannot claim to value privacy while continuing to put themselves in the public eye. After all, isn't privacy what they wanted? Sharing everything all the time on interviews, books, and Twitter cannot possibly be called having privacy. However, there's an easy counter-argument to that. Others argue that Harry and Meghan have the right to control their own narrative and share their lives on their own terms. They have every right to share what they want, without having others pry into their lives. We all have our opinions on this, so what's your take? As for the creators at South Park, they had their own big opinion, and they did not hesitate to share it the best way that they know how. Dissing. In the second episode of their 26th season, ironically titled The Worldwide Privacy Tour, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been relabeled as the Prince and Princess of Canada, and they are now neighbors with South Park character Kyle. The royal couple is portrayed as demanding to have their privacy by, uh, let's see setting off fireworks, screaming in the middle of the night, putting up huge signs, and literally playing polo on their front lawn. All the while, they yell at everyone to respect their privacy despite trying to bring all the attention to themselves. And yeah, the actual royal couple did not take this well. I mean, who would? Come on. Anyhow, Harry Meghan is considering suing the South Park creators, so they have a new enemy on the block now. The episode has not hesitated to take serious jabs at several other things, creating a lot of controversies. Other than the aforementioned nighttime fireworks, here are the other references. Harry's own controversial memoir, Spare, has been renamed as Wah, and their cartoon versions apparently keep trying to sell it to Kyle. A parody of their interviews with Oprah, but this time, it's with the Canadian media. Harry's Blue, Rod down there, a reference to his frostbitten private part, and a client database where Megan is labeled as a sorority girl, victim, and lawyer pretending, while Harry is labeled as a royal prince and world traveler victim. This is not the first time that the issue of privacy has caused drama in Harry and Meghan's lives. Harry writes in his memoir, Spare, that back when they were dating, the couple used to ask for privacy from unwanted attention. However, the people around Harry would just roll their eyes and say that he and Meghan were only pretending to want privacy. Harry claims that Meghan was having panic attacks because of the unwanted attention, including being chased by the paparazzi. A stranger also sent her a text, claiming that they knew her home address and wanted to shoot her in the head. He says that the couple's concerns were not taken seriously back then. And now, with the release of the South Park episode, this issue has been given the spotlight again. Since leaving their royal duties in 2020, the couple has moved to California and has tried to lead a more private life. They have signed a multi-million dollar deal with Netflix and Spotify, but have said that they plan to use these platforms to share uplifting stories and positive messages. Ultimately, Harry and Meghan's desire for privacy is a complex issue, and it is up to each individual to decide where they stand. While the couple's appearances on shows and social media may seem contradictory to their desire for privacy, it is essential to remember that they are human beings who are trying to navigate a difficult situation in the public eye. 
If you'd like to know more about the Royals or other high-profile celebrities, then please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You might like the next video as well.